I am legalistic. Pushing everything too much toward the approval and standards of this world to the point of making no room for errors. And I hated it when people failed to meet my expectations, causing them not to improve even when there was an existing solution. But things have changed ever since I experienced the same as them. One day came, didn't expect that I would fail that much, didn't think I would be doomed as such as I did to them when I wasn't on their feet, like listing all the wrongs on a paper sheet. Guilt, shame, fear, condemnation, indeed, all of these clothed me. So here I am, started seeking people's validation, yet all I felt was no appreciation pushed myself into its limit, showing the world my best in a way that is explicit. Ended up growing weary, my regrets became like an expanding fury, became friends with anxiety. All the lies in my head are now my reality, closing and opening my eyes. Day and night, you are a failure, says my mind. I was too hard, ashamed, unforgiving. I had no courage, no hope, no chances. Not anymore for the people around me. But this time, for myself. Myself. I used to see myself highly than others silently. And yes, fully aware of this false humility. But that one failure triggered the idea that I am and no human being is the center of the universe. And as I find myself going through such great self-inflicted depression, I then gradually ended up being at the center of exhaustion. All the doors seem to be closed. You deserve it, the enemy boasts. Everything in and of me, name it, was tortured. All of me was ruined. Agony now hastens. All I am went to bore and I just couldn't love myself anymore. One day, I woke up in a man's tightest hug, whispering to my ears, Dear, this is too much. You have had enough. It is not for you to redeem yourself, said the gentleman whom I just met, the one who chose to love me even to the point of death. He mentioned the four-lettered word, namely, Love. That's what he said. You are my love, my dearly loved. In your failure, my love for you, there, you cannot measure. And rest assured that in me, there is no situation beyond restoration. And as we go further, with all honesty and transparency, I asked the man, what do you mean by love? And he said, love is patient, love is kind, love does not envy, love does not boast, it is not arrogant, it is not rude, it does not insist on its own way, it is not irritable or resentful, it does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. And as for me, to the man who pursued me through my highs and lows, I couldn't offer anything but a grateful heart. Thank you for redeeming me.